Hello and welcome to Happy Mat Pilates. My name is Lisa and this is a level one beginner class. I recommend that you have something soft to work out on like a Pilates mat or a, a rug, soft carpet, even maybe a thick towel could work. Uh, and then I recommend having some water nearby to keep hydrated. So we're going to start today on our back. So if you're in a seated position, slowly roll down and you can grab behind your thighs to lower, lower yourself down and then gently come down all the way on your back. And we're just going to start out with a few breathing exercises to get warmed up. So have your feet gently rested on the mat about hip distance apart, and then just kind of roll your hips around a little bit to feel comfortable. And we'll just do some breathing, drawing the breath in from our navel as we breathe in, expanding our rib cage, and then breathing out through our mouths. We're gonna breathe in, Expanding our rib cage, drawing that air all the way in, and then out through the mouth as we contract our rib cage and let go. In Pilates, you want to, a lot of the movements, your abdominals are restricted. And so in order to continue breathing properly, we want to make sure that we're using our rib cage to expand and contract uh, in order to get the breath, air, and out effectively. So you might consider as if you had a corset on and you're your, uh, your core here is restricted. So that, that you wanna practice breathing in and out with that rib cage. All right, so now have your hands by your side and we're just going to gently peel your tailbone off the floor, tucking in and strengthening those abdominals as you gently lift up, breathe in, and the next exhale, go ahead and release. Ready, let's take a breath in. Paw, draw in that lower navel pulling up your tailbone just slightly, and then go ahead and release, okay? Now take those heels and tuck them into the back of your glutes, hands by your side, palms are on the ground, and then we're going to do the same. We're going to draw that navel in, lifting up our tailbone slightly, and then we're going to roll up one vertebrae at a time and lifting our hips up. So let's do this a few times. Lower, go ahead and lower one vertebrae at a time hips come down last. And then we're going to do this one more time, tucking that tailbone up, hollowing out your stomach as you lift those hips one vertebrae at a time. And make sure you have equal weight on both feet. Lifting them up as high as you can, let's go ahead and then roll down again one vertebrae at a time. Take a breath in and exhale. We're going to again tilt our hips up and roll up one vertebrae at a time. Okay, now if you can, just stay up here high, keeping your hips lifted, and let's just pulse those hips up, just little pulses, and let's do that for a count of five, four, three, two, and one. Keeping your hips lifted, open and close those knees, squeezing those inner thighs together, open and close. Keep your hips lifted. You need to squeeze those glutes. Keep your hips stable as well. We don't want them rocking back and forth. Okay. And try to keep the soles of your feet on the ground as you open and close. Keep going. Your knees don't have to come all the way together, but try to draw them in as close as you can. You'll feel it. Those inner thighs are working, those glutes are working. Let's do that for a count of five, four, three, two, and one, and bring the knees into about hip distance apart, and then slowly roll down, one vertebrae at a time, and your hips come down last. And when your hips come down, go ahead and bring the right knee into your chest, the left knee into your chest, wrap your hands around, and hug them in tight, squeeze, 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 and maybe just rock side to side, opening up our spine. Okay, bring your hands back down by your side, go ahead and lower your right leg, and then your left leg. And I'm going to take that right leg, bend the knee, and I'm going to lift the leg straight up, and I'm just going to lower and lift that right leg. Not too fast. Pilates is more is about uh, controlled movement, so slower can be more effective and more challenging than going too fast. Okay, so let's do this a few more times. Three more times as we lift and lower that right leg. Go 
ahead and drop the right leg down. And let's lift up our left leg, straighten the leg, and then we'll lower the left leg up and down. Keep breathing. Kind of warming things up, but also with controlled movements. Tighten those abs to help lift and lower the leg. You're strengthening your core as you work through these movements. And the last one, go ahead and lower the leg. Okay, let's bring our right leg up into a tabletop position so the leg is bent and the knee is directly over the hip and then we'll bring the left leg up aligned with that so your knees are about hip distance apart. We're going to take our palms are down and we're going to gently lift our head up, lift up our chest, lift up our arms, gaze at your knees and let's hold for a count of five, four, three, two, one and then come back down. Okay, so let's do this for two more times. Let's take a breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to lift again and hold for five, four, three, two, and one, and lower. Before we do our third one, when you lift, make sure the top of the crown of your head faces the ceiling. Let's go ahead and breathe in. And as we exhale, we're going to lift. This takes the strain out of your neck or it lessens the strain out of your neck when the crown of your, seat, your head is facing towards the ceiling or the sky. Keep, hold this for five, four, three, two, and one. And go ahead and lower down. Lower your right leg, lower your left leg. And let's zip those knees in together. And let's tee out our arms, palms are facing down. We're just going to rock those knees from side to side and give ourselves a nice spinal rotation, opening up that spine from side to side. And then bring our legs back to center, bring our hands back by our side. And let's bring up the right leg in tabletop position, left leg into a tabletop position. And then let's go ahead and straighten those legs. Okay, try to straighten them directly up high. You want to keep your lower back so that it's cemented to the ground. And then we're going to open and close those legs. Not too fast. Squeezing the inner thighs to bring them together. Control movements as we bring those legs apart. Now your core is doing quite a bit of work here to support your core, your abs are doing quite a bit of work to support that core. Make sure that your hips are not rocking from side to side. We'll do three more of these. Three, two, and one. Okay, now we're going to keep the right leg up and we're going to drop the left leg down. And we're going to hold, hovering that lower leg. Okay, and count with three, two, one and let's switch. Make sure that lower back is engaged to the ground and hold for three, two, one and switch. Three, two, one and switch. Three, two, one and let's do two more, one more time on each side. Hold three, two, one and switch. Three, two and one. Bring the right leg up to match the left leg and bring those knees to your chest and rock from side to side. Okay, so bring your right foot down, bring your left foot down and we're going to roll over to our side. Let's just do a little bit of side work. We're going to work on our side obliques. So you want to stack those hips. You want to have the top leg directly on top of the lower leg and they're zipped together. You don't want to have your hips rocking from side to side. You really want to have them stacked help support yourself by taking that left hand and bringing it right here in front of you. Support your head on your hand or you can bring your head all the way down to your arm. Now we're going to lift both of those legs together using the side oblique. So ready? We're going to lift those legs up and down. Up and down. Five, four, three, two, and one. And hold for five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and lower those legs. 
Okay, keep your lower leg on the ground. Let's just lift and lower that top leg. You want to come directly up to the side, hinging right at your hip here. Your leg does not have to come up that high, but just don't don't uh, don't bring it up like that. You want to have slow and controlled movement. Okay, so directly up for five, four, three, two and one okay drop that leg down gently lift yourself up and swing those legs around and we'll work the opposite side so now let's come down on your left side again you can come down on your arm all the way down or on your hand you want to stack those hips arm in front and when you're ready using those side obliques we're going to lift and lower our legs okay, keep those legs together Let's go five, four, three, two, and one. Now keep those legs lifted and let's hold on a count of five, four, three, two, one, and go ahead and come back down. All right, so now we're going to keep the lower leg down. We're going to lift and lower that top leg. to keep strong. So this is exercise. It's really good at strengthening um, that part of your body. So you want to come make sure your hips are equal weight down onto the ground. You can roll around, uh, rock back and forth just a little bit, and then settle into it. Uh, top of your, your feet are resting on the ground. Bring your arms out in front. Keep your gaze down at your mat. And we're going to lift opposite arm and opposite leg. So go ahead and lift your right arm left leg and down and then left arm right leg and down straight up and down make sure that you keep your limbs as straight as possible rotating from left to right now you can the closer that you bring your legs in the harder it is if it feels like it's pinching on your lower back then you can open your legs up to more of a v position keep going let's do one more on each side. Okay, now let's bring our hands and you can um, use them as a pillow to rest your head on here. And we're just going to work the legs only. So now go ahead and work your right leg and then your left leg, lifting one leg up and then the other. Squeeze those glutes as you lift that leg up as high as you can, keeping your legs straight. Keep going. Go five, four, three, two, and one. Now you can keep going from left to right, but if you want to make it a little more intense, let's lift both legs up. And then we're just going to keep those legs. As if you were in a swimming pool and you had a kickboard in front of you and you're only kicking your legs. The only thing is that our legs are straight. So keep going. Make it more challenging. You can bring those legs in a little bit closer, as close as you can. Keep going. Let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go ahead and drop down. Now let's move into a child's pose. You're going to put your hands right here by your side, and you're going to lift your chest up. And then we're going to lift our booty up and we're just going to push all that lower half, pushing that high knee back, letting your belly rest in between your knees as you reach out and flatten your back. So think about lengthening, you're lengthening your spine. You want to have a flat back. You want to push this booty back and you want to lengthen, have your head gaze down. So take a breath in. As you exhale, reach forward even more. 
may feel a nice stretch in your lower back as you do this. Let's do it again. Breathe in. And as you exhale, reach forward even more. All right, and now we're gonna come up on our hands and our knees. So your hands should be directly underneath your shoulders and your knees are underneath your hips here. Your, your knees are about hip distance apart. Let's take that right leg, we're gonna extend it back behind and then let's lift and lower that leg. Directly up and down for five, four, three, two, and one. Now keep that leg lifted, bend the leg and flex the foot. Strengthen those abs. We don't want our core to sink. We want to be strong in that core. And then we're going to just lift and lower that knee. Just slightly coming back down. Try to keep it at hip level if you can. That's your starting point as you lift and lower that leg. For five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to draw that knee into our chest, squeezing your abs and then extending the leg back behind. Knee to chest and extend. Let's keep going for five, four, three, two, and one. All right, and the last for the side, we're gonna take that knee, we're just going to rotate it around in circles. Loosening up those hip sockets one direction and then let's reverse the rotation keeping equal weight on both hands for three two and one go ahead and drop that right leg down let's now extend our left leg point your foot make sure your abs are strong lifting up and then we're going to raise and lower that leg slight toe tap as you come down Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, keeping that leg lifted, bend your knee, flex your foot, and then little pulses up high. to your chest, squeeze your abs, and then extend the leg back behind. Knee into chest, and extend. And keep going, let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. And last, we're going to draw the circle with that knee. Circling that leg around. Again, make sure that you're keeping equal distance on both hands, and then let's reverse that rotation. And then go ahead and drop that knee down. Okay, from this position, we're gonna do what's called the cat-cow. So you're going to draw the belly button in towards the back of your spine as you round out that spine. And you're going to head, head drops now, tuck in the pelvic, pelvis and your tailbone, and then reverse that. So your hind comes up, your head comes up, and then let's keep going, rounding out your spine, and then reverse. Do that one more time. Breathing in as you draw that spine up and curving that spine. And then exhale as you come back into neutral position. Okay, so let's come up onto our knees and your knees should be about hip distance apart. Now it's important that you don't sit back. You wanna draw in your hips, tuck in that tailbone, tuck in that pelvis, lift up your chest, drop your shoulders and you wanna be in a vertical alignment with that spine as if you were up against a, a vertical wall behind you. Let's bring our arms up in front and we're just going to breathe in and as we exhale we're going to 
lean back and then breathe in as we come up and exhale as we go back and keep going make sure that your head follows what your spine is doing you're only just leaning back you want to straight back as we go up and down this exercise is good to build the muscles around your knees so if you have any knee injuries or weak knees or want to prevent any of that then this exercise can help prevent that help build up and make your knees stronger let's do a few more times as we exhale or as we go down inhale as we go back up okay now we're going to go back just slightly you don't need to go back go only go back as far as um, your knees will allow but we're going to hold here just a little pulses let's hold for five four three two one and then back up and we're going to do it again breathe in exhale as we go down and let's hold for a count of five four three two one and back up and one more time take a breath in and exhale as we lean back and hold for a count of five four three two one and back up and let's drop our arms down by our side okay so we'll stay in this position let's take our arms by our side and we're going to draw our arms all the way up by our ears clasp our hands bring the arms back again by your ears drop your shoulders down lift up the chest tighten those lower abdominals tuck in that tailbone and then we're going to twist over to the right side Let's come back up, breath in, and exhale as we go over to the left side. Breathe in, we come back up, and then exhale as we go over to the right side. And one more time each side. And over to the right. And then let's draw our arms down. Okay, keeping our arms here, just do little arm circles. We're going to build our arms. Now, you could certainly do this with some light weights, but you don't need to. And you want to keep your shoulders down. The weight of your arms is enough to help build those arm muscles. Just little circles around and around. Think a good thought, smile, think about what you've done today, what you're going to do today. All things good. Going. And let's hold this movement for five, four, three, two, one. Now to reverse the rotation. Keep your arms up if you can. If you have to drop down momentarily, that's fine. Let's just bring them back up when you're ready. Keep going. For five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now let's hold here. And then we're just going to bring our arms back and forward, back and forward. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now rotate your palms up and we're going to draw our arms straight up and over, clasp, gently clapping our hands and then back down again. Okay, so straight up so that your arms come up and around your ears, keeping your shoulders down and back down. Let's do five more of these. Five. Four. Three. Two. And last one. One. And keep your arms here. Rotate your palms down. And we're just going to take a breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to drop that right arm down as our left arm comes straight up and over. And breathe in. And as we exhale, we're going to come up and then over to the opposite side. Keep that arm straight up and over. And then one more time as we come up over to the right side again. 
and you may even get to feel like you can lengthen that stretch even more on this oblique each the more that you go from side to side deepen that stretch but if your hand doesn't come all the way to the ground that's okay you want to just get that nice stretch especially in your oblique here and then let's come back up and drop your hands down by your side okay so let's come on down now and we're just going to do a few planks and then we'll do our cool down so uh, I recommend well, a couple things you can do you can come down with you want to have your elbows directly underneath your shoulders and then you want to lean forward just slightly you can be on your knees and then you can draw one leg up and lower and then lift up the other leg and lower on your toes okay so right leg and down left leg and down now if you do this you want to keep sure that make sure that core is strong if you want to take it to a little more intensity we're going to come up to a full plank here lifting our legs on our toes and we're just going to hold on for a count of five four three two you want to go ahead and drop down on your knees. Now as you lift up, we'll do two or more two or more of these. You don't want your hips to come up. You want to make sure that you have a flat back. Okay, so again you can do the knee lift one or the other, or you can lift up both your legs. So go ahead and come on up and just make sure your hips aren't up. Again, your hips aren't down. You want to have a, a smooth back. And let's hold this for a count of five, four, three, two, one, go ahead and drop your knees down and we'll do our last one. Ready and lift and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and drop your knees down and let's push back for one more child's pose. So if you remember earlier, pushing that booty back, uh, letting your head come down and your belly between your knees, flatten that back out. Reach, reach, reach. Go ahead and walk those hands up. And our very last, I'm gonna go ahead and just sit up. We're gonna take those arms, we're gonna cross them in front and gently grab your shoulder blades, opposite hand, opposite shoulder blades, and pull those shoulder blades apart, lifting up your elbows. Uh, so we stretch out those sh shoulders, shoulder blades, our arms, and then go ahead and release. And you did, you are done. Great job. So thank you for joining me today.